silver and gold on the way down. Was I right? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I'm dropping this the day after we had uh, quite the drop in silver and gold prices. Gold was down 3% on Monday. That's the lowest level in more than a month. There was a lot of selling going on, folks. Silver plunged 10% at one point. Now, 8.3%. It went down to $24.53. That's the lowest level in over a month. Guys, have I been predicting a pullback? Well, if you follow my channel, you know I was calling for this about six weeks ago. Actually, closer to, yeah, about six weeks, seven weeks. I dropped a video. Actually, I dropped... Uh, several videos that I talk about the pullback. It's coming, I said. Now, I did think that maybe we could get back into the teens uh, spot price for silver. I don't know if that's likely, but I did call for a 15% pullback, potentially even 20%. I'm sure people are going to say, Yankee, what are you talking about? You got to be bullish about this. Yes, I am. But for the short term, I think we have a major pullback coming. So, because because when you you know add up all these data points, you know the fundamentals, the technicals, the sentiment, that's what I see coming. But when? When will that occur? September. There, <laughs> I called it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a month. Uh, I, I may be wrong. Again, this is just a speculative, uh, uh, you know, uh, play on my part. But I think that's when the Fed will turn on the monetary spigot. I think it's going to be, you know, about two months before the November elections. We're not quite there yet. Twenty-four dollars an ounce. I think it could go lower. I was actually kind of hoping it would drop to 23 uh, about three weeks ago. And I was thinking, boy, if it does, I'm going to back up the truck. I've got a envelope full of fiat ready to go, right? I mean, I, I, I want to buy a lot more silver. Uh, and I just, you know, been waiting for the right time. Yes, I've bought a little bit here and there, uh, you know, just just because I don't want to be completely <laughs> out of the, the game here, but only when it was an opportunistic buy, uh, just a great deal that I couldn't pass up. But, you know, I'm not going after much high premium silver. Uh, you know, I've, I've tried to, you know, take it easy. I did buy some uh, numismatic coins for the uh, Yankee Constitutional Silver Series. But other than that, I've been keeping my Yankee powder dry, waiting to convert that fiat into silver. Maybe a couple quarter ounce maples to get that maple musket done, but really focusing on silver. Why? Why has it gone down? Again, I, 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 I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. I know it may sound like I am. I'm not gloating. I'm not you know, uh, being prideful here, but I'm telling you, I did say that I believe another uh, liquidity crisis could occur. Now, I don't know if this is a crisis, but it is a liquidity issue. But I do believe that deflationary fears are what we need to be thinking about right now. Even though the Fed is effectively tapering, it, it it's going to change. I clearly see these uh, deflationary fears leading to another stock market drop, another liquidity crisis, and that spilling into gold and to a larger extent silver, just like it happened back in March. Do you remember? I think that's coming again. The second wave that I've talked about in prior videos. See, gold and silver, but mostly gold, it should be trading higher. It, it's a safe haven, folks. And the demand for a safe haven asset is still there. But it's a repeat to some degree. 
like what it happened back in the spring, back in March. Do you remember when there, that market sell-off occurred and, and there was a major liquidity crisis? What happens? Those that are on margin, at least, have to sell their stocks. And there becomes a, it becomes a, a, a liquidity crunch, if you will. They sell everything. And sometimes gold and silver get sucked down into that vortex when the market sells. Even though, mid to long term, we know where this stuff is going. So what does that mean? That means it's a buying opportunity. I don't know if this is the beginning. I don't know if we hit a bottom. You can see on the chart, it seemed to uh, level off, trade sideways for a bit. As of uh, the making of this video, at least, uh, which is uh, 445 on Monday uh, afternoon, Eastern. So... When you see this video drop Tuesday morning, it will be really interesting to see if the trend continues. Okay, is there more panic in the markets? Uh, normally, the fall is a very strong time for precious metals, or at least historically, but this is a year like no other, right? <laughs> and it's an election year, so there is a lot of turmoil. You know, the optimist, um which is the enemy of the metals is optimism. Um, think that Trump is going to get elected. Mm -hmm. uh, the pessimists are the people who would, you know, want to jump on silver and gold before they go up. Mm -hmm. uh, think that uh, Biden's going to get elected. Well, there's a lot of concern whether or not there's going to be another stimulus package. I did predict that there would be. Um, it took. It's taking longer than I thought. Uh, and especially with the, the passing of uh, Supreme Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So that has also uh, shifted the focus, if you will, over a uh, judicial nominee battle. And they're not thinking about stimulus quite as much. However, guys, I still think it's going to happen. It'll be a compromise. This is the way our government works, right? They battle it out and at the, the 11th hour, something gets done. I think it's coming. So anyways, I won't belabor this video any longer. I just wanted to, to chime in. I think more price drops potential uh, is there. And I think the volatility at least is going to be incredibly crazy. So strap yourself in, get ready to buy more silver and gold when the opportunity strikes. And it could be right now, folks. And thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.